Yo, what's going on guys? Chris with Hyatt Lawn Care. I'm gonna do my 2022 lawn care video here. Starting off, let's start with the big power that pulls the trailer. We have a Ram 1500, it's a 2016. Got some stuff done to it. Got wheels and tires, headlights, grill, bed cover on it. It's about like sitting on 20 by 10 visions. Uh, move on to the trailer real quick, it's a big text. Six and a half by 16, I gotta clean this thing off. Oh, there ain't no seating and all kinds of stuff. Racks, I'm still running with a Byers three, po three position rack. I mean, they're not the greatest, but it gets the job done, you know. Moving on to a blower rack. We have the equipment defender. Uh, I only have one of these right now, just for the blowers. So I gotta get one more also. Plus, Move on to stuff that I carry every single day with me. First off, it's going to be oh, didn't mean to step on it. Still HS 46C hedge trimmer. Good. I mean, it's not the big commercial one. I don't do many hedge trimming jobs anyways, but I still want to get one and carry it with me just in case someone does ask me to do it. Move on to a little blower. I just picked this up. The Echo PB2620, the X-Series, as you can see right here. Good little blower. My steel BG50, I think it was, it got stolen. So I picked this up just the other day. It's good to have a little handheld blower for those little little yards and blowing yourself off to get the grass off of you. Get the grass off of you. Uh, moving on to the big boys. Picked this up in the last fall. Steel BR800C. I love the side start over here. It's just nice talking to a customer and you have to shut it down and then get back talking with them uh i mean shut it down talk with them and then when you go out to blow and you ain't gotta take it off your back so that's really nice i have the pb 910 9010t echo this is a big boy right here oh it is a big boy it does great for leaves but for everyday use it is just very it, 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 it's quite heavy let's just put it on the, these two are quite heavy the 800 and the 9010 that's why i did get the small little handheld because again the small yards you don't really need anything big so that's why i got those and i said in the last video i made i was going to get it the km131r still has a comedy system on run the edger attachment the curve shaft uh, the blade right now is just a regular steel edger blade uh in the house i got put back on i run the uh, golden edge edger blade i like it a whole lot better it's lasted a whole lot longer it's just been wet and edging properties it it throws some mud it really does it throws some mud so it's one of the regular edger blade put it back on i mean this is three days of use and it's already wore down a good bit so hey you gotta do what you gotta do though moving on to the trimmers we have a steel 94r relatively new not that old probably five months maybe uh not bad trimmer i mean it's okay uh power to weight ratio decent it's not my echo i'll get to that in a second but i am running the darwin's grip on it uh, i love the darwin's grip also i'm running the echo speed feed head on this one but i'm switching over to echo so i'm gonna be getting rid of both of the steels all the steels i'm getting rid of i'll just moving to echo i like them a lot better so yeah. but for the biggest sweet ear i carry on my everyday usage is the smr 2620 i don't have the t model but it's a 2620 running the darwin grip also i also got the balloting t-rex head on it has four pieces of string coming out for a bigger ish trimmer it's really good, especially in the tall grass that you need, wet grass, whatever. It's amazing. The 94 doesn't really have the power to run the T-Rex head, but the Echo does. Gas cans, we've got two Sure cans that I carry with me, mixed, not mixed. Uh, nothing special about it. Now moving on to the mowers that I carry every day. Right Standard X. Um, I didn't make a video, but I did have a Skag V-Ride 2 with a 25 horse Kawasaki. Worst mower I ever had. It gave me a bunch of trouble. 
but I love I, this has no hours on it. I mean, I picked it up just the other day. Let's see. It has 2.8 hours. And as you can tell, it's it's been muddy, so it's it's already dirty. Nothing you can do about it, but great mower. And as far as blades down here, I'm running the Ballard Inc. High Rise blades. I love those bl blades. That's what I use on all my mowers. So give y'all a little tip there. High rise blades, amazing. Little push mower I carry with me, the Honda GCB 120. You can pick these up at Lowe's. It's a residential push mower. I don't do a lot. I do want to look at getting a better one though. By the way, on the right, it's a 52 inch deck. So, uh, 23 horsepower Kawasaki also. It is carbureted. I did not get the fuel injected. It's, it's not that big of a deck. You don't need that, that much power. Moving on to my next, my sit down. This is what pulls my A-Raider and everything. It's a Gravely Pro Turn Z, I believe, right? Pro Turn Z? Yep, Pro Turn Z. I have the tow rope with me because you get stuck a lot when it's wet. I have some lights mounted up on it. It's a 52 inch deck and this thing is built like a tank. It is a prosumer model. How you get the price to on it. It has the Gravely V-Twin on it. It's a 26 and a half horse. But this thing, if you want to talk about reliability, I'd say this. Even though it doesn't have a bunch of hours on it, it only has 111. But I love this mower. I'm running the same blades, the high rise blades by Ballard. It's, they're just good blades. One thing that I like, the right doesn't have, but the right grass deflector stays up. The gravely, all you have to do is lift it up and it comes down, go back up, drops into place, and it ain't going anywhere. That's one thing I do like about the gravely. But I've decided to go with right for the commercials and the stand-ons. That's what I personally already like better. Moving on to stuff I don't carry every day, like all of this stuff here goes with me on the trailer every single day. A little spreader, got away from the Earthway one that I had, the Echo RB60. Good little spreader, I picked it up for just this season of aerating and seating for the spring. Aerator is the Brinley 48 inch. Sorry about the cars in the background if y'all can hear them. I live on a highway, so it's, it's always cars. It's a 48 inch. I've had this for three seasons now, I want to say, and about time to replace it but what can you do about it you know you get the money's worth out of it that's all i can say moving on to my first ever zero turn aaron's icon x 52 inch this by far even though it's a residential mower you can get it low it's my favorite mower has the kawasaki waiting for trucks to go by kawasaki uh, 23 horse carbureted, but it, it, this is such a good mower. It has 196.5 hours on it. Not that many hours, but it is a residential. And I love this thing. I do run stock blades on it. I haven't caught the Ballard Inks like I have for these two here. Because they're not... I don't, I don't run this every day. I run those two. Mainly, I'm going to start running the Standard X instead of the Gravely because my other standard was a Skag and it was my every day. It had 230 hours on it. I sold it and got a right because I had too many problems with the Skag. So, yeah. And I had dealer issues and went to a different dealer. Uh, Phelps with Mo Man Lawn Care recommended me to the dealer I bought that at. Amazing. Amazing place. Uh, Gravely, I bought it at a different dealership than the right because at the time I just need something to pull behind it and pull not pull behind it use something to pull the aerator sit down what's gonna work so I just got a gravely like I said it it works good it, they're dirty you know what I mean we work with them so yeah but the backups mainly stuff that sits at home my 91R by steel uh it's old it's four seasons old it's gotten the life beat out of it so I mean figured I'd replace it. That's why I got the Echo. That's what replaced it. Replaced this. While we're at the trailer, I still do have my Husqvarna 322L. It's at my dad's right now. His Husqvarna broke, so I'm just letting him borrow it. Uh, again, sits at home. Don't need it. It's the 130BT Husqvarna backpack blower. Don't hardly ever use it. 
Uh, then the chainsaw, still the same, CS4510, 18 inch bar. Haven't used it much, but when you do need it, it has the power to cut through, which is one thing I really like. So always keep your chain sharp and I got two extra chains for it. So it's amazing. Uh, then for spraying, I have the heart, uh, four gallon, 20 volt system. It's good. I mean, I don't hardly spray a lot unless it's for specialty stuff around flyer beds or something. I don't keep this on the trailer. So. Yeah, but this is my 2022 lawn care setup. Probably gonna be getting a better push mower or a 32 or 36 inch stand on. I don't know which I wanna go with, but yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all later. Thanks, bye-bye.